Wonderful. I have a question. Yes. This pertains to someone in my life that um, you just made me um, think of, and that is their current um, personality. Um, and I, I've just come to a, a conclusion about this person who's very close to me that um, in this life, at least, that they are high functioning sociopath. Mm. And so my question is, is this something that would repeat through different lives or is this just a manifestation of a specific life when there is someone who is a sociopath? Repeat for the other person or for yourself or the relationship between you? Um, both, actually. I'm more curious about repeat for them. You know, if they are sociopathic in all of their lives, for instance. Um, and then I guess also I'm curious, since you mentioned it, if it would be the same in previous relationships of pre previous lives with them, between me and them. Mm. Oh, this is a very multi-layered question you asked. <laughs> So for your friend, of course, no, they are not sociopaths in all their lives. However, if they are not learning their lesson, they may be destined to repeat or continue it until it is resolved. Or their soul may decide this lesson is too advanced for now live other lives, learn other lessons, and then when more mature, return to this one. Ah, uh, okay. Now, for your attraction to the sociopath, it could be that you have a lesson for yourself that needs completion so that you do not return to this situation. Mm -hmm. This lesson may be, are you drawn to people of this ilk? Or it may be, what do you shine that this sort of person is drawn to you? Or it could be this sociopath is completely irrelevant there is another karmic lesson within there for you that this person could have been any sort otherwise except for the one karmic detail thank you very much that's very helpful hmm. this is our pleasure of course there are times when you look about and you see a herd of elephants, so you have many questions about elephants, but truly the karmic lesson is you tripped over a root while looking at elephants, you need to pay more attention to roots so you stop falling. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> of course, of course. Remember, remember always, it is not your responsibility to love everyone. It is your responsibility to learn to fully and completely love yourself and to connect with others through love. When you find you cannot connect through love, then explore the karmic lesson there. The karmic lesson may be sometimes that you should avoid this person for there will not be a love connection. Or the lesson may be how to help when there is no love. There is a variety of lessons. However, when you learn to completely love yourself, appreciate yourself, you will find the karmic lessons ahead of you and surrounding you are easier for you to manage. 
even the karmic lessons within you easier to manage. So think to yourself how you are the beautifully crafted and designed life that your soul created to be the perfect vessel for this life. Your soul would not make a mistake very often. So you may assume it's a fair bet that you are perfect for your soul's dreams. When you embrace this concept, when you value yourself for being the perfect vessel, then you look to your karmic lessons towards self and in connection to others in a different light. You do not need to justify your existence on this planet or your capabilities, your value, for you already know you are the perfect vessel of your soul. Then when you look to those where you lack harmony in your connection, the lessons in there are within the category of why do I feel compelled to have the relationship with this person or remain in this situation? There may be positive, there may be negative. Perhaps this person is not someone you agree with, but you have known each other since you were infants. There is a lifeline of shared experiences. This is enough value to overlook other factors. So you do not connect in the state of love that you do with others, but there is a love Therefore, you allow the relationship to be in comfort in the level and type of love that naturally exists. So when you look upon the harm happening in your country, in your planet, remember, if... It harms your frequency of being the perfect divine vessel of your soul, the beautifully crafted, creative inspiration, then perhaps you are not connecting in the right manner, or perhaps you are forcing a connection that should not be as potent or existent as you make it. You may always look in the core of you to your soul love and connect to the core of the other to their soul love. Even if they are unaware of this, that is irrelevant. You may send love directly from core to core and leave the rest be. Do not exhaust yourself with anxieties, trying to force connections that are not potent. Flow with the love that exists. If there is no love, then there is no flow. Do you understand what we are saying? Yes, I, I do, and I thank you. Wonderful.